Hello, I'm Ben Saltzman, and this is my wife, Karina Saltzman, and we are two weeks into a three-week vacation, flying high in Manich. And we decided that we would shoot a series of videos, and this is episode two uh, of The Salties, and give you the inside scoop on our relationships and the relationship dynamics, and kind of what do we do to be in long-term intimate relationship as part of our path, as part of our path of spiritual evolution and emotional healing, and, and how do we kind of work through some of the and rubbing each other the wrong way and dealing with life when you have two businesses and a seven-year-old daughter and you want to take care of your body and you care about spirituality and you, and you're getting older and you're getting so older more stuff and to you do. want to and eat well and prepare your food I mean there's just like a lot of things yeah um, that you kind of juggle these days and we wanted to talk about how we do it and fall flat and how do we do it when it goes well and um, we were having a lot of conversations and I was like, honey, let's video these yeah. and get them out for the people. So we're going to chat and sometimes talk to you, but often talk to each other about <laughs> what's been going on. Yeah. So I think one thing that has come up for me um, over this trip was just noticing with your family the way there was this implicit expectation right or I don't even know if it was yeah it was an implicit expectation non-spoken we say there's a lot of unspoken agreements yeah. on the east coast you know I think they're everywhere but, <laughs> but yeah. tends to be more east coast right. like yeah top secret um, unspoken family agreements and so one of those felt like that one of the agreements was the women actually tend to the cooking and the laundry in the house right and the the men sort of do Smoke are cigars. expected to do a little bit but actually have more freedom and i was telling ben you know it's weird because that's not our agreement right. like i run a business we have home support some because we can afford it because we both have full lives yeah. right yeah and we um, value getting support for our lives and we're both financially contributing to the household right. and so there's more shared responsibility and shared around cleaning and cooking right. and there's a, it's and it's been worked out you know there's a lot of it has been a long-term negotiation and i think that <laughs> and one it's of, never done <laughs> no, like we do it and then like oh God, two years later it's like well two that's not gonna like, fit well i'm making a lot no. more money now and maybe we'll do it this way right yeah. or jordan's older now and um so the, like so, so it's negotiated which is beautiful, like we encourage like being overt and negotiating and putting them out on the table. And you gotta be open to it, like this can change. And, and we're not always, it's not always something we're both happy with. That's the other thing. Mm -hmm. Is we don't, I don't come away going like, like I'm really happy with that. I would be happy with 50, I mean, I've always said that, yeah. right? And you're like, no, I'm, I'm not going to be with our child that much. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it is a long, it's not like it's total happiness. Yeah, sometimes right? you have to take it. one for the team. And, <laughs> right. Yeah. But the point I want to make, and this is particularly to, to women, I think, okay. is that clear agreements as you're entering into the, like clear agreements in our relationship have been critical to me feeling empowered yeah. and not victimized. Right. And I think because the gravity, the generational gravity for women is so powerful. Talk about that, because this is a big one. What's the generational gravity? The generational gravity is for, for generations, we have been expected to, to provide a certain care for the home and for the family and for the this, but we haven't necessarily been expected to, to, um, to grow a business. Right. Right? And so to really not get pulled into that and to prioritize where, well, I mean, if, if you want that, great. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but if, if you, you want don't, what? if you want a domestic support life where you support the family and your partner works and has, and yeah. has a funny, and that's your agreement, like, and it works beautifully, great. And we know couples where that happens both ways. So we know couples where the woman is primarily taking care of the home and the kids and the man is out bringing home the bacon. Right. And the reverse. 
Yeah. Where the man is home and he's primarily responsible for the kids and the woman's out bringing home the bacon. And he sometimes gets judged by society, right? right? Yeah. For like, why isn't he bringing home the bacon? Yeah. And sometimes his yeah. masculinity is at stake yeah. and gets questioned and there's like a lot. And I think and women but get judged I've seen too, it work. Right? I mean, I think women get judged for why is she out doing that? and not supporting. So anyhow, you know, I come back to this sort of gravitational pull of how do we empower ourselves in relationship and create agreements where we're both empowered. Yeah. And where That's there, what. And where they're as, as clear as possible, <laughs> knowing that there's going to be gray area, knowing that there's going to be times when I step on your feelings, you step on my feelings, right. and we're going and we, and we to work them out. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to work that stuff out. And I think we're, we're a new generation, and the next generation seems to have a little more equality. Yeah. But we're, our playing field is different yeah. um, than, say, your parents' generation or that generation. And you're actually more supportive of me being empowered and my business and me being sort of a strong woman. I love that. that. Doesn't, about you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm into it. Bring home the bacon, baby. <laughs> Get me off of that frying pan. You know, when, when I was just saying, when I was just saying we got to work this out, I was thinking about, like, our agreements around how we argue mm -hmm. save us a lot of angst and headache. And mm -hmm. I, I don't want to do it on this episode, but... Okay, maybe I, the next one. Yeah, like, on one of the next couple episodes, like, let's talk about how do we argue, what are the agreements, mm -hmm. how do we make it so there's no permanent damage done, Yeah. how do we spend, like, less time arguing so there's more time loving. Right. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, anything that you want to say to wrap this one up? Um, I, just, I just come back to creating clear agreements and clear expectations of what is it we're both agreeing to because that's what we come back to, mm -hmm. ultimately. Um, like, what would be an example of that? What would be, just before we wrap? I, I'll give you guys, while she's thinking about a really deep and meaningful example, <laughs> one agreement that we have is don't buy anything you have to assemble. This is true. Because we have bought stuff from Ikea that had taken us two, three, four hours to assemble with lost pieces. And it, that was one of the hardest things that we dealt with as a couple for months. I, I think one of the things that comes true for me, um, and this is more sort of deep and meaningful to me, is that, that our time, that there's a value of I'm not doing all the child care, that we have an explicit agreement of you're an active parent. Yes. And you're clear on what time you pick, what days you pick her up, what days you drop her off, right, right. when we have support. Like we're both in what's right for us and I'm not assuming, you know, you're not assuming you're an off hands dad. Yeah, yeah, you're like really on those days when I have, I have our seven year old daughter Jordan when I'm responsible for her, like, they're my days. She so. gets sick, the school calls, he's on, right? Yeah. It's off me. Those are my, those are my full work days. There's vacation those happening. Those are so important. Because like, typically, yeah. what will happen is the woman will take on that regardless. Yeah. And it is a dangerous place for us ladies. I mean, it just is. We, we've got to stop doing that. And start really just handing it off and going, okay, honey, your days are Monday, Thursday. I'll take the other, you know. Yeah. And we'll make it work, so. And we can do it, dads. <laughs> we can both be empowered. That's right. All right, so that's the end. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. That's a good one.